Hey guys, yes, it's almost weekend, it's almost weekend, it's almost weekend. Yes, guys, just a quick one. This one mostly concerned the women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly the women. Yes, thank you guys for watching my video, for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please, whenever you watch my video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and press the bell notification so that whenever I upload a new video, you will know it. And you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Excuse me. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for the comment. I got more calls than comments. People are saying, keep it up, right on. This, that if you have any topic you wish me to talk about, don't feel free to DM me, Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube comments or anything at okoji joy tv in instagram is okoji joy in facebook is okoji joy and youtube is okoji joy tv thank you guys for watching my video watching my video thank you thank you thank you thank you guys 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 so today i want to talk about eh he left me how can he just bring a woman into the house how can he just do this this is mainly for the women now nah, come. Why is it that we women we always feel that everybody have opinion? Yes, they say marriage is a lifetime. Marriage is this or relationship. It's not all relationship that leads to marriage. Number one, you going into the a relationship, don't have it in mind that it's going to lead to marriage. Yes, if it happens, okay, but it's not a must or do or that. I feel you must marry me. No, it's not a must that a man that date you must marry you. No. Yes, the Bible says any mother virgin a woman must marry the woman. But in this our society, they have turned that thing long time ago. Sometimes the one that even virgin, they will know they will change you to another one, or you have even choose by yourself or circumstances or one thing or the other. Don't put it in your mind that when the man you get disappointed, I thought he was going to marry me. I thought he was going to do this. I thought he was going to do that. Like seriously, we ladies, we are always <sighs> we are always eh, he's supposed to marry me. He's supposed to do this. He's supposed to do that. Like seriously. Like, seriously? Are you being kidding me right now? Okay, now, another thing. Maybe you're already in the relationship or you're already married and the man I come and say, listen, you know, there are two different things. If a man walk up to you and say, I don't think this relationship will work anymore. Most of us, we chase clad, sha? We sabi chase clad. A man walk up to you and say, I don't think this relationship we work or continue anymore he said of you to be happy that when one door close another better one will open do you know that people have been seeing you with that guy those that love you those that will even want to come to you they can't come because there's somebody with you are you yourself you know the, the relationship is not taking you anywhere but because you just want him to marry you just want him, you are there praying kabash okay there is one question i really want to ask so many women because this thing is so com common with women now nah. Because you love this guy or because maybe his status is rich or anything, whatsoever, whatsoever, I don't care to know. Then I'll see a professor and say, ah, this guy, you, you are not going to be compatible. There's going to be problem. Ah, we will pray. Okay, now let me ask you one question. Who brought out the message? Is it not God? Who are you going to pray to to answer your question? Is it not the same God? So why are you being fooling yourself? They told you your, 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 your genotype does not match. It's going to cause problem. You not have sick like God. Why do you give me this kind of feature? Oh God, this pain is too much for me. No, no, no. You are just starting. I'm not trying to say maybe this or that. But that is the truth. You inflict the pain on yourself. He said, we could, you, you, you are just faith without this. Just, you, you want, eh, I'm, a, I, 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 I'm a child of God. I will pray. It's God that bring out the prophecy. So who are you going to pray for? That is going to answer your prophecy. Is it not the same God? Nah, that aside. Okay, you will not get to the man say, eh, I don't think this relationship will not work anymore. I will not be crying after all my strength, after all my efforts, after all I've built, after all I've do that. Do you know why more many men treat you like trash? I was telling somebody one day, I say, Come. Somebody must not know your you, not that you are pretending. Ah, if you just learn this word, he go verse to deal. That did you tell you you laugh. Don't be surprised. You are not angry. Why, why will I be angry? Another day. Okay, now a man come to you and say, maybe this, I don't think this relationship is, is working any further. The first question you ask, okay, what are your reasons? It tell you whether the reasons are good or not. 
are you going to be dating yourself? That is my question with these women that are dragging. No, this relationship must not be over. This, this is, okay, if you don't want to work out with your dignity, then be there and be suffering yourself. Work out with your pride and your dignity. And burns. No, this relationship cannot just end like that. Oh. This is not what you promised me. Oh. This is not what you do this. Oh. This is not what you do that. Oh. Like, seriously? Okay, you are not dragging. You want to be dating yourself or you want to continue the relationship yourself? Somebody that you are in a relationship with, he takes two to tango and he said this relationship is not working anymore. Instead of you to say, okay, no problem. God, give me my own or you walk, you walk away. No, you are dragging. It cannot end though. You cannot say you're not dating me again. I was seeing different friends, Medima did not tell you. You don't want to leave. They will say, this is our actress that leave a boyfriend for another man. Did they tell her? Did they carry gun to face her? She know what is good for her. So it's because you don't want to leave. Many people would have choose the other way around. You don't want to leave. No, I, I, I love. I do this. At the end, that person that you think you love will be the one disappointing you. If it were that boy that disappoint her and nobody will say anything, everybody will say she don't have character. She don't have this. Now, let me tell you, when somebody says this relationship is not working anymore, you ask the person whether I tell you or I not tell you, gently, kindly walk away with your dignity and pride. Let him be shocked at your response. You are not crying. Where well, now? Nah, I am good to you. Okay, is it because I don't wash your clothes? Okay, is it because I don't give you money? Okay, is it because I don't do you? are just a big fool. I'm sorry to say. When somebody tell you this is not going to work, walk away with your pride and dignity. If one door did not close, you will not know there is another door somewhere even bigger and better. That aside, there is another one. He just came home and tell me that I want to bring another woman. I want to marry a second wife. I want to marry another wife. You are crying. You are going to the altar to be praying. Kabashi. Hey, you get strength too. You get power. A man that even tell you is going to bring another wife or even tell you that this relationship will not work anymore. You are supposed to be thankful and be grateful to such a man. And I must have said, hey, what are you saying? Are you not a woman? Just... See, let me tell you something. It is better somebody come out, play and tell you. You see, the stone you see will not blind your eye. If a man tell you want to marry another wife, he doesn't seek or need your opinion. He just wants you to know. And you knowing, it's not you crying, kabashing. It's for you to know, okay, another woman is coming. Let me prepare myself. Instead of you jumping, crying, calling his family, begging him not to bring another, he has already made up his mind. He just wants to let you know. He doesn't need your opinion. This is where most of us women fail it. I will not bring ourselves to the very rag for men to be cleaning their legs with. I will not leave my husband house for anybody. Eh? Your dead body, they can take it out. I will not leave my house for anybody. I will not do this. So. I will not do that. So. You are dragging property, dragging asset, dragging this. Is it not human being that make those things? He say those people that are successful, it's not because they want to success. It's because they are hungry for it. If you want to slim down, you see all this, under three months you have got, because it's what you want. If you want to get, you work, it's what you want. I know it's God that helps. But with your determination, say faith without this is what useless. I want to slim down, I want to slim down. You are using your mouth to say it. I want to be rich, I want to be rich. You slide down inside your house. The money will come and meet you. It is when you make a move, put your hand in a business or try something. God will not bless it for you. You want to slim down with your mat. I just want to slim down this year. Next year, I want to slim down. You are saying it with your mat. Is it going to work? No. The matter is bringing a second wife. It's for you to prepare. Okay, I need more prayer to protect myself and my children. Okay, I want to leave. Okay, I want just for you to be prepared. Because it doesn't need your opinion. If somebody needs your opinion, say, so so and so, what do you, what do you, what's your take on it? Then you can discuss, which means the person needs your opinion. But when somebody just goes, ah, I want to buy a new house. So it doesn't need your opinion. Or I want to get a new car. Or I've already gotten a new car. You didn't tell me. If you want to tell you, I've told you a long time ago. Or a man come out with, eh, 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 I have a child outside or my children are coming home or this one. Eh, it's not, if you want to tell you, I've told you a long time ago. We, we should stop deceiving ourselves as a woman. Nah. Ah, it's in the pain me now. Nah. It's in the pain me. We we'll just let ourselves down. You just tell the man that is your life depends on him. Okay, is it because of this? Okay, let me start doing this. You now put yourself, subject yourself to things that you know in your life and in the next life you can't do. You just be doing it. You just be doing it. And at the end, it is what we have already at the beginning. 
they will still come. Have you not seen many men, they've left their wife, go out, do so many things, they will still come back, oh, there's nobody like my wife. It's because you allow them to go. He said, if you love a bird, let the bird fly away. If he likes you, he will fly back to you. Not keeping the bird on the cage. It's not a sign of love or, 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 or you want. Just let it be. Let people be. People have opinion and decision of their own. Yes, you might look at it as this person is wicked. This person, he just wants his own opinion. The only thing I tell you is when you have children, it doesn't mean you, you want to live. Okay. And what about the children? No, the children will be fine. Take care of your children. Pay support. Visit them. Do all you takes to be a father or a mother. Don't just live and neglect all the things. That is where it is wrong. And another thing again, you see, that is why most men, especially our African men, cannot come to you and say, this relationship is over. They will not use violence because if they tell you in a peaceful way, you will not agree to go or leave. Or did they use violence for you? And then you not be saying, the man is wicked. How can he throw my things? How can he do this? Will somebody just come to you peacefully and say, ah, I don't want this relationship to continue. No, I will pray over it. Ah, it will work. Oh, my enemies are at work. Everything is enemy, 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 enemy. That is why we are not growing. When you see that things are not working well, be expected to get anything soon. You yourself, you know, you know, you know. Like as they used to say, most of us in bad marriage, you know that this marriage is not going to be fruitful, it's not going to be good, there's going to be comma or something. Then you just, uh, maybe, uh, let me try. Because we only like to do manager. I will manage the one I see. I will manage the one I have. There's no husband, I swear. Because you don't look for. Because you didn't make yourself available to be a wife. We are just there. Doing one thing or the other. Just fooling ourselves. Disgracing ourselves. Making ourselves uncomfortable. Making ourselves very... We downgrade ourselves. We reduce ourselves to nothing. Do you know that so many women, they are national item. I pledge, national pledge, I pledge to my marriage to be loyal, to be faithful, loyal, and honest. That is what many women are in marriage. They will pledge to their marriage. They will be there, loyal, faithful, honest. At the end, one chance, then you go stay enter. So many women are just Nigeria pledge. I pledge to my marriage to be loyal, faithful, and honest. Nothing is wrong with it. Though. To be loyal, to be faithful, to be honest. There is nothing wrong with it. If the person you are doing it for is saying it. And I see so many people, even our popular actress, they will say, I will not leave my husband for anybody. I used to say the marriage thing. Yes, so it's very good though. You pledge to be loyal, faithful, and honest. Very good. Is the person the same thing? If this hand wash this and the other one wash this and it will be very clean. But you know, see, when only one hand is washing one hand, it will never be clean. That is the problem. That is why we are getting it wrong. Learn to let go of so many things. Let go of things. Not everything you see, you hold it to yourself. Anything you see, you hold it to yourself. Let go of so many things. If he wants to go, let him go. If he really needs you, we come back for you. Have you not seen marriage or relationship that are broken? You still go back. Okay, now, look at Jennifer Lopez now. I know mon most, most of you have heard the story. When the guy bought millions of... Multi-million ring for her. Diamond. Do you know where he asked the guy to go and collect the ring? In a hole, in a borrow pit that nobody can ever pick that ring. He went there with video. And he said, come and take your ring here. Dump it and marry this your husband that you have two children for. And now, he's cruising with that guy everywhere. They are the best couple of the year now. Have you not seen it? But this was the same guy he rejected years ago. He went to marry another person, have children. Now he's back with the same guy. The, the million ring, go down the dream. Did the guy not get patient? The guy was patient. And now he has gone and come back. If somebody have told me that the guy is going to... Start dating, I would uh, say, no, no, no. Best way, don't reject. Why? Because the guy was calm and quiet. Now, nah, all the things, he's cruising it. Even if he have to, they know. He said, I will bring the latter and the former end all together. Whether he have to, they don't have to, all the time he use. He deal with the guy now. Nah. 
So most of you go the whole something ah, the woman flushed my multi million ring. Oh, this and that. The guy didn't say anything. He just kept quiet and let her be. Today, uncle, most of you will be dragging for marriage as if it's a title or his visa. I must marry. Oh, he must stay. Oh, like seriously, you are dragging for marriage. You are dragging for relationship. It's not by force. So you want to be dating yourself. Smart, I don't say this person talk too much. And this person, you don't know how it is. And you don't know how much listing. Those things are assets. It is never over what is over. Who get today, not get tomorrow? The man might be raining today. What about tomorrow? What about tomorrow? Be Try and make wise this. When things are not... Okay, if that is what you want... No, please, now nah. I will change. What am I doing that you don't like? Some of us will even give up our career. Some of us will give up our family. Some of us will give up our business. Some of us will give up ourselves. Everything about us. We want to please somebody. At the end, the person is not pleased. You will not be disappointed. If I have no, I don't know. It's worrying many of us women. If I have no, I don't know. I don't know this. If I have known, if I have known this, well, because you subject yourself to it. Not that you don't know, you know. You know, Papa, you know, T, you know, you know. Please and please, let's learn to live our life in a peaceful way, in a better way. So that we we have peace. The people we are also coming to meet, we have peace. You traumatize yourself. By the time you not get a better person, you are already half dead. Because you are already in trauma. You are in distress. You are in this. You are in that. It's painful, I know. It's painful. Relationship that we are used time to build. But if it did not work, let it not work. You must not die there. You still have your life to pick up the pieces of your life, whatever it is. And move on. Forge ahead. Time wait for nobody. Instead of you wasting it with somebody. Somebody will free you and say, okay, go. I don't need you anymore. You are still keeping yourself. You are still engaging yourself. You are still embalming yourself. You are still keeping yourself in bondage. When somebody has already freed you and say, ah, I don't want any more. You, you want to engage. <laughs> you want to engage yourself. You must marry me. You must marry me. Ah, please. We ladies, we should try. Try. And most of you ladies that always say, eh, 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 a guy slept with you and you are ashamed. We both sleep with each other. You saw your nakedness just the way I saw it. There is no big deal about it. You are one and one. So stop downgrading yourself and say, eh, this person, eh, he did this, he did that, I'm ashamed. Why will you be ashamed? A guy will not be ashamed. We sleep with your sister, sleep with your mother, sleep with you, sleep with your friends, sleep with that one, friends, friends. He will not still be ashamed. Then you, you will be ashamed. Eh? What will people say? What will people say? That is what is killing us. What will people say? I'm not trying to tell you not to be decent. Do what pleases you, pleases you and give you happiness. If that is what will make you happy, do it. You say, are you not a Christian? See, if you are not happy, there's no way you can serve God right. You need to be happy to serve God way. A sad heart or a broken heart, when you, you will not receive anything. Whether somebody that allow fornicate, any sin is sin. Be yourself. That's just my point. Just be yourself. Stop thinking of what this person will say or what that person will say. How would they look at me? How would they not look at me? You are yourself. Be yourself and for yourself and yourself alone. It is you against yourself. It is me against me. I'm not copying anybody. I don't want to be like anybody. I don't want to be better than anybody. I don't even want anybody to be better than me. It is me being better than who I was before and who I'm, I am now. And this person, no, be yourself. You don't, don't, don't have that time of explaining to people. This happened or this... No, don't explain to people. Just be yourself. You don't need any explanation to anybody to live your life. Live freely. Do what pleases you. What makes you happy. What gives you joy. Not in the expense of making another person cry. That's just my own. My own. Don't do anything that will make anybody cry. Because you say, do to others what you want them to do to you. So do to others what you want them to do to you. If you want people to love you, love them. If you want people to hate you, hate them. If you want people to say good things about you, say good things about them. Do to others what you want them to do to you. Thank you guys. I think I'll end this video here. Please, we women, please, including me, I'm not as ended. Please, let's try. Let's try. 
let's try bye guys love you see you in my next video bye 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 bye